is me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and it's been a while. So, reason I haven't made a video, it's actually kind of embarrassing, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I lost my monopod that I put my phone in. Um, couldn't find it, didn't understand. I basically used this probably three foot long bendy stick as my monopod, and I didn't know where it was. And it was actually hanging on my lamp the whole time basically right in front of my face. So that's why I haven't had a video in a while, but I have a plan for a few videos coming up real soon. And this is the first one. So this is all the pages I colored in November and December. And it's more than I thought it was. I actually kind of got back into the swing of things in December. Um, I decided to just do some straight coloring and not worry about shading and things. And I also did a lot of holiday stuff, of course. So let's get into it. It's kind of in order. Not really. Anyway, uh, I got this book, I want to say in November, maybe. Oh, no, yeah. My, my hubby Sam got this for me for my birthday from Barnes & Noble. I found this there. It was the only Hannah Carl's on. And I was like, oh, I've never had one of her books. Got to get it. So I finished the back page. It's not my best work because I, again, wasn't really into shading. But I wanted to try to do the gem how everyone does it with um, whiting out the lines and it didn't come out that great. I think it looks okay in person. Might even look worse on camera, but what can you do? Um, obviously it was a quick and easy page just to get started. I actually have another work in progress in here that maybe I'll sneak peek. So that's, I started that, but haven't finished her yet. But yeah, nice, quick and easy. I used my iridescent medium over top of the gel. I used some glitter gel pens for some accents there. And I just at that time was like, I need to get something done in my new book. I don't want to have books and not do anything in them forever like I've done in the past. Let me take off my post-its as I go. Okay. Fairy Merry Christmas by Deborah Muller. This is a book that came out last year, I think maybe two years ago, but I want to say last year, but I finished one page in here. I don't love how this one turned out, but here we go. I actually use markers in this one. You can see it's a little streaky on her legs. I don't know. I just, again, wanted to do some holiday ones. It's okay. It's not bad. Also, I apologize that you can see like the tangle of my microphone string. I don't know if that's avoidable in the shadow. Okay, and now you can see my buddy monopod, I think. Anyway, um, use markers, very simple. Just wanted to get a page done. It's not terrible, but it might not be my favorite. I'm not sure. I'm, a few months ago I discovered using Sharpies and I had never thought of it before, so I think that's what I did with this one. So there's that, page number two. I actually finished two in a Whimsy Girl Christmas by Hannah Lynn. This might be my favorite Hannah Lynn of all time. I'm a big Hannah Lynn fan. I have literally all of her books. Um, I didn't technically get the best of book because I had all the other ones, so I didn't really think it was necessary to get the best of. But besides that, I have them all. This one might be my favorite. So I did two of these. I did this one, which is, I think, called Christmas Cookies. And again, as you can tell, at this point, I just wanted to, to be coloring and be doing the act of coloring. So I didn't do my normal shading. I didn't go crazy. And I just colored everything with my Prismacolors. And I enjoyed that a lot. And this is one of the more detailed pages in here. So it's always nice to get one of those done. And then we also did... Oh, see, that wasn't right now. Sorry. This one, which I think is Christmas Eve Mermaid... And there, yeah. Also, nice straight coloring, no shading. Just got it done. I buddy colored these with my friend Joanna. She has the same book, and now I think we've buddy colored everything in this book. We've done this is I, our third year in this book, so I have a lot done in here. I love that one a lot. This one has two of each, and this might be the only coloring book I'm tempted to do the second of them to kind of see. Um, how things changed slash I just love these pictures so much but rumor has it next year she's going to come out with a new holiday book so maybe I won't need to do all the doubles in here but I just I love I love it I've do, we've done almost all of it at least the first time so highly recommend that one obviously it's a little late now but 
it's never too early to start Christmas coloring, right? No, Sam's looking at me like, yes, it is. Okay, follow la la la. Merry Christmas Designs this is a creative, creative haven book. I don't remember which post-it is the one I did. Oh, this one. I actually really liked how this turned out. And again, it's very simple. Um, I kind of went with the way I used to color. When I was younger, I would always outline everything dark and then color in light. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Let's see if I can get close. Yeah, you can see it. So I actually like outlined everything in marker and then colored it in with like crayon, twistable crayon, which I do not use as much as I used to. So I really enjoyed that. I love nutcrackers. I collect them. I try to get one a year so I don't have seven million, but this year I got a bunch as gifts, uh, ornament ones. So that was pretty fun. And yeah, I really love them a lot. So there's that page. My favorite books. You've seen these before if you've seen anything from my channel. Basically these are French mystery coloring books. Um, there are, I want to say, seven of the Grand Classiques and there's a bunch of spin-offs and circles and I, I have a bunch of these. I really enjoy them because my personal opinion about Disney is I want to get the colors right. So I have trouble coloring in Disney coloring books that they don't tell me what to use because I'm so nervous to get the colors wrong. Anyway, all that intro to say I colored Ariel this month. So there she is, nice and simple. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect. I think it looks better in the camera than in person though, so that's nice. Uh, people always ask how I get the streaky look or I guess the um, uniform look and I literally just as if it's a highlighter go row at a time on the big areas so it looks uniform obviously that's a personal preference and you really have to use water-based markers in here because they're double-sided um, so they don't go through I use Tombow dual tip for the black lines and Statler watercolor not watercolor but water-based markers for everything else and if I can't I use Crayola color pencils because this is a big book so it eats through them quickly still there's that I also did a few in the Mickey Donald and Company I didn't mark these so basically last year on our honeymoon I brought this book and I just brought the black marker so I only did the outline of a few I actually did this background but this year I colored some in so I colored in goofy that might be it and then I ended up doing Minnie um Daisy and I ended up doing the outline for Pete being the ghost of Christmas future so there's actually a ton of Chris, Mickey's Christmas Carol pages in here, which I love. It is my favorite Christmas movie, my favorite version of Mickey's or of the Christmas Carol story, which uh, Muppets Christmas Carol probably comes in a close second. But I love it. I'm excited to continue doing these for years to come. So yeah, this is just Mickey through the ages and like all his little friends. So it goes all the way from his first appearances up until I think the Mickey Three Musketeers. Yeah, from 2004. So it's a fun view of Mickey's life, I guess. Okay, Color Quest. This one will not fit in screen. It's humongous. I really enjoy this one. It is another color by number. And it is nice to just have a big page to do and just focus and go. So I finished this page, which is the owl. I actually started this page a few months ago and never finished, don't know why. So I did that. I used my Statler water-based markers in here too. They're dual tip. They might just be Statler dual tip markers. That might be the name of them. So finished that one. I have probably half, no, not yet, probably at least a third of this book done already but yeah what's fun about this book i don't know if you can tell from just the pictures but the the shapes are all different so like this is all uh, triangles this is all circles there's squares there's hexagons there's all different shapes so it makes each page different i really enjoyed all of the pattern pages i did a bunch of those first so yeah so this one's fun this one took me forever back when I did that because basically every single one's different. Ugh. 
Okay, and now this is almost going to be a sneak peek of my next video, which is going to be some of what I got for Christmas. But I got this book from my friend Anthony, and he knows, he actually picked this, I think, because I love turtles, and obviously that's the cover. But this is by Sun Life Drawing, color by number animal stencils, and I did two pages in here. I did the snail. Ooh. Okay, it's not going to hold itself open. It's kind of crazy, the colors, but you know, there they are. I don't know. I actually really like it on the black background, and I think in the future I might get the black background versions because they usually come out with the same book in black background and white background. This one is actually mixed, and half the pages are black background, half are white. I don't know if that's unique to this book or they do it in other ones, but I kind of like it because I didn't really worry about the lines. To be honest, I just kind of went crazy and finished this in probably like 20 minutes, which was nice. Also, the colors are the same for the whole book, which is also really nice because I had an extra set of Statler dual tip markers and I just labeled all 22. Like I put a piece of tape and numbered them and I keep them separate. And now for this book and their um, mandala book, it uses the same colors and I just take them out and bring them with me and it's easy to travel with them and things like that. Oh, I did two in here and I only showed you one. I also did the geckos. So there's that one. Yeah, it's like weird because it's different, but a lot of it's overlapping. I don't know, but I, I enjoyed it and it's nice and bright. So that's fun. But yeah, so some of them are black background and some of them are white. So I'm happy to have that one okay Whew, my mandala book also I hope you haven't been crooked this whole time but you probably have been I love these mandalas this is by Camelia Angelkova I really enjoy her books this is the second I have from her and there's just a hundred mandalas so my plan has just been to go through this in order and just do whatever's next I think I have five to show you um, I've also been like trying to mix it up so I'll either go to Pinterest and look up a what are they called like a palette so I'll be like summer and then find pictures of summer and they'll give you color choices or I'll do different themes I did a whole bunch of Disney princesses and I've done some holidays and you'll see I did some colors in here so the next few I have this one I just titled birthday and my favorite color is purple and yellow so these just kind of felt birthday y to me personally and I've done videos on how I do this before so you should definitely watch it but I do three markers and two glitter gel pens usually almost always to mix it up so that's fun I like having a little bit of glitter on each page then I did a brown themed one I also really enjoyed this because these are some colors that I wouldn't necessarily use or reach for that often. So it's kind of fun to make sure I'm using all of my supplies. I did a pink themed one and you'll see it. Uh oh, I tapped the pod. And then I did two Christmassy themed ones. So this one I really like, let's see, I did like an ivory, which it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see it's super shiny. So that was nice. And then I tried to do a different Christmassy theme. So this is supposed to be like the pinks. And I think I wanted this to be a darker red. But so it's like the pinks and the dark green and the blues that go together that you see sometimes. So I like it. It's just not as Christmassy as I was hoping. But yeah, so those are the five. Apparently this is the 23rd one I've done in here. So I'm almost a quarter of the way done. Did you hear a beep? Thought I heard a beep, but maybe not. Hopefully not. Okay. All right, two books left. This is actually one of the gifts that Sam got me for our anniversary. Our one year anniversary just passed, so that was exciting. And he, um, one year anniversary is traditionally paper. So he got me two coloring books from Japan, which was really cool. And I will show you them when I do my haul. But here's one of them. This is Eerie. She has a new series or at least three books out that supposedly go together. And we think this is the second one, Sam, or we think it's the third one. 
we're not really sure because obviously this is in Japanese, but uh, her first one in this series didn't really go over well because I don't know if you're going to be able to tell from the cover, but the lines are incredibly light and she kind of wanted you, the colorist, to outline them yourself and people didn't enjoy that. So these have not been printed in the United States to my knowledge, so that's why he ordered it from Etsy from Japan, but I actually did two in here. So the first one I did was this giraffe. And obviously for this one, it didn't really matter that the line work, in my opinion. Um, as you can tell a little bit, the lines are almost resist a little bit. So I painted or used watercolor paints for this. And I think it made a really cool effect. It frustrates me that you can't really see his eyes and face that well, but what can you do? I really like this. The good thing about this idea is that it seems that for the most part there's less detail than some of her other books. I know especially Romantic Country 2 she kind of went detail crazy and it was like almost too much like actual wallpaper not even a wallpaper page it was literally just wallpaper that she was really detailed but anyway yes the second page I did was this one which was super exciting except I tried to make her face look better and I just messed it all up so that's a little frustrating but before I did that you couldn't see it at all and I actually used all watercolors on this too I used my little pan set that I actually will be showing you again in my haul because I got a second set to supplement it for Christmas I really like how this came out. I did a lot of mixing because I didn't have that many colors to work with originally. So I kind of like designed my own colors, which was really cool. But yeah, that's that one. So I love it. Our girls, right? Josette is her name, Josie. I don't remember now, but from Romantic Country series, she's here. She's here and I think it came out real cute. So I love this. Thank you, Samuel. Okay. And finally, for Christmas, Samuel bought me this one. I've wanted this for months now, and I kept seeing it at Barnes & Noble, and it was like on clearance, but even on clearance, it was like a dollar more than Amazon, so I kept being like, I'll wait, I'll wait. Hopefully someone will buy it for me for Christmas. And then I told Sam, I'm like, if it's still on my wish list, get it. <laughs> so he did, and here it is. And I actually have done two full ones, and then I'm on in the process of my third one, but I messed up on the first one. This is Spiroglyphic Animals, and basically there are lines, and you follow the lines and color them in around and around and around, and eventually the picture will show up. So, my mistake on the first one was as followed. <sighs> I tried to start from the outside and the inside. I like to mix it up. I'm not really good at doing the same thing over and over again. It's ridiculous, I know. So in doing that, it messed up because I miscounted the line. I mean, I didn't count the lines, but what I thought would line up did not. So unfortunately, this is incorrect, but you can still tell that it was a ram and it was, I still finished. I, I figured out I was wrong at about here. But I was like, no, I'm going to finish. So there's that one. And then I did correctly this one. And this is the horse, which I think you can see a little better. Um, so far, I've just decided to do one solid color and go from there. Who knows in the future if I mix it up. But And now I'm in the process of the tiger, which you can't tell at all yet so hopefully this will turn into the tiger so yes that is it that is my huge wrap up for the last two months thank you so much for watching hopefully i'll be back with more videos soon i want to do a what i got like for christmas but crafty edition i'm thinking of doing a what i got for christmas book edition i don't know but if i'm not back soon enough hopefully you had a wonderful holiday and you have a magical new year and 2020 is good to you, and you'll see more of me. Great? Okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!